I bet you really fancy a toasty right now. <laughs> well, that's exactly what this video is all about, making toasties. And this is the new proper toasty maker from NGT. And it works slightly different to how you'd make a toasty on the back normally, because this is ideal for deep field toasties. And it also seals them round into little pockets, as you saw in that opening sequence. So if I get the actual thing out itself, it's nice and small and nice and lightweight, and it's made from a cast aluminium design. And if I just open it up like that, you'll see it also comes apart. And on the inside is three layer titanium, so it's ultra non-stick. So it's nice and compact and lightweight and easy to use. Just put that back together like so, and we'll get cracking on making some for today. As you can see, I brought the carpiest of cool bags, food bags with me today for all the items I need. Got some butter, that's a good part, point of making these. And it's gonna go for your good old standard ham and cheese, as you saw from the opening sequence as well. So I've got some cheese slices, easy to take on the bank and come in a nice smaller com container. You'd have to cut it all up on the banks, all ready to go. And obviously wafer, wafer thin ham, just pop that to the side. And the bread I'm using is just toasty bread. So this is Warburton's, other brands available, I'm sure. Take two slices out of there, but I find the toasty stuff is obviously designed to be used in toasties, so it makes sense to use them. Starting off, take your butter. I've also used Fry Light as well. Me and my missus have used this toasty maker before when we've gone camping. She's got a bit of a dairy intolerance, so we try and stay away from dairy stuff. And we found that some of the Fry Lights also work well with this, but you butter the bread, and this is the outside. So this goes against the inside of the toasty maker, and that helps to brown it off and stop it from burning. So I'll just do that on one side, pop that to one side, open up the toasty maker, and as I said, butter side down, like so. Now some of the cutaways you're seeing were from the kitchen yesterday. There's a bit more of a hygienic area for me to <laughs> film it all, because it's hard to film and cook at the same time when you're on the bank. Hopefully I get a bite. I'm actually fishing today, so it may go off at any point. As you see, I put that in, butter side down, and you push it down so you're able to load it nicely. Try and balance that there somewhere. That'll do. Right, cheese. And as I said, I'm just using the pure cheddar, the squares. Break that down and put bits in there. Everyone loves a bit of cheese. If you don't, this probably isn't the video for you because it's all about toasties. Bit of ham. Just like breaking up. It lets the heat go around a bit more and the cheese can really melt and infuse around all the Ham, and then just for good measure, a little bit more cheese to finish it off. There we go, like so. So pretty full with lots of cheese. Back to the butter. And again, butter the outside. So this is gonna go on the top of this, butter facing out. like so. Try and show you on that camera, but this may be a cutaway in case this doesn't go too smoothly. Push it all down, and then you crimp it with this top layer, and as you bring it down, as you can see, it crimps down, you hear that little click. There's a magnet on the handle which keeps it shut, so it holds it together once you're cooking. But just pinch that down, and then the crust, the excess, falls away nice and easy like that. If you eat your crust, your hair will go curly, so as you can see, I've eaten crust all my life. We'll pop that to one side, that's the snack while this is cooking. And it's completely sealed. So the butter on the outside and that sort of crimping of the pan itself means that the whole edge is sealed. So it makes a really nice hot toasty, like a little pocket on the inside. So turn the stove on, I'm using one of NGT's camping stoves and we get cooking. And because it's cookable on both sides and it seals together with that magnet, you flip as you go and so you get a nice consistent heat on both sides melts the inside and nice brown on the outside. So catch up with me in a few minutes when this will be done. Whilst this one's cooking, it's also worth noting that because of the material of the cast aluminium, this can be used on a, a whole host of different heat sources. Of course, I'm using a standard camping stove at the moment or fishing stove as well, they'll also be fine. And even I used it on my hob yesterday back at home. And if you had an electric hob, it would work on that as well. So it can be on any different heat source. And it's also worth noting, it doesn't have to just be savory ones. Of course, I'm doing cheese and ham. That's your go-to standard for a toasty. But my wife and I used this recently. We did, uh, I think it was a cranberry, brie and cranberry one, a chicken, avocado and sweet chili. That was really nice. And also some sweet ones. We did a carnation caramel, the stuff you get in the tin, 
with slices of apple and some cinnamon. Really, really nice, recommend that one. That's probably the nicest one that we've done. And also Nutella and banana, it works really nicely. So it doesn't matter whether it's savory or sweet, you can use it whatever. Also for breakfast, lunch, dinner, doesn't really matter. And lastly, it's worth noting that this can be picked up from NGT online for just 19.95. And I think we are just about there. I think if I go any further than this, I'm gonna start catching it. That sounds toasty to me. So, take it apart, like so. Turn it off. And I've got a little uh, camping set here from NGT as well. Just tip that onto there. As you can see, it comes apart nice and easy. So if I wanted to wipe that down with some wet wipes on the bank or when I'm at home, clean it, it's nice and easy to clean. And yeah, this little camping set from NGT, two plates, bottle opener, corkscrew, two forks, two knives, and two spoons. And I forgot to bring tomato sauce. That is absolute sacrilege. Oh, nearly lost my toasty, as you can tell. Lovely sound. Let it open. Oh, the cheese is already using that side. There we go. So you can see, nice melted cheese and ham pocket. Perfect going into the cold weather, all year round if you love a toasty. But especially when the weather's cold like this, it's so nice as to have something warm to eat at lunchtime to keep you going when the fish aren't playing ball, which they aren't today. Hopefully one goes off, but also hopefully after I've had this. So I hope you uh, like this video and you've been introduced to the NGT proper toasty maker for deep filled toasties like this. I'm gonna have to let that cool down a little bit because I have discovered that with these, you take a bite into them, unless you've got asbestos mouth, you will probably burn yourself straight away. So let that cool down a little bit. Do have a look on their website for these, pick one up, the stoves as well and the little camping set, all extremely reasonably priced. So uh, do take a look at that and maybe get your hands on one and use it going into this winter. That's all for me for now. I'm gonna have this and probably another one. Ah. Ah. Mm. Oh, subscribe or um, click on a different video. Or you can stay here and watch me finish a toasty. Oh. Probably sounds amazing with a mic right next to my mouth. Sorry. <laughs>